Welcome to Pro Kitchen Software Online Video Tutorial Series. In this video, we will explore Bill of Materials. We will locate and identify Bill of Materials, review each tab within the Bill of Materials, review each tool icon within the Bill of Materials, and we will print the Bill of Materials with or without pricing. Once a design has been completely drawn, it will be important to add non-plan and additional items to the bill of materials to ensure all necessary items are ordered from the manufacturer and so the customer is charged for any third-party parts or in-house work. In this video, we will access and navigate the bill of materials within ProKitchen software. We will use this design for demonstration purposes. All the on-plant items have been put into place and all modifications required attended to. Now, to check the bill of materials and add the non-plan and additional items. To access the bill of materials, navigate to the top of the Pro Kitchen window. Locate the View and Settings tab and left-click to open the ribbon. The bill of materials icon is located near the center of the ribbon and looks like a list with many items. Left-click this icon to launch the Bill of Materials view panel, which by default will appear above the design space. For demonstration purposes, I will resize the design or plan view by hovering the mouse on the dividing line between panels until it becomes a double-ended arrow. Then, left-click and hold and drag the bottom of my new view panel down to resize and release the mouse to secure. At the top left of the view panel, you will see three tabs, plan items, non-plan items, and additional products. When opening the bill of materials view panel, it will by default be open to the plan items tab, which will contain all the items that have been dragged and dropped into the plan view. Every item from each catalog placed in the design will automatically appear in this list and will be assigned a bill of materials number. Beyond the bill of material number, along each line, you will see the quantity of the item, the catalog the item is from, its SKU, width, height, and depth of the item, hinge direction, the list price of the item, and the extended list price or the list price times the quantity of the product. And if you scroll to the bottom of the bill of materials with either the roller ball on the mouse or the slider to the right, you will also have quick access to the total list price for all on-plan items. If any modifications or accessories have been added to the product, the bill of material number will appear below the cabinet as the cabinet's bill of materials number with 0 .01, 0 .02, etc. and will also provide as much information as is relevant for the modification or accessory along its line item placement. The next tab is the non-plan items and when you left click you will refresh the panel to what initially will be an empty list. Non-plan items are items that you cannot drag and drop into the plan view for rendering purposes. Items such as touch-up kits, corner and scribe molding will not automatically place to the bill of materials and must be added manually. To add the required products manually, navigate to the catalog panel on the left of the Pro Kitchen window. Search through the catalog tree to locate the desired product. Then, left-click and hold then drag and drop into the non-plan items list. Continue to drag and drop all the required materials until all items have been added here. For the moment, I will leave the quantity of these items at 1 and will demonstrate how to adjust the quantity a little later in this video. The third and final tab is the additional products tab and will also initially provide you an empty list. Here, you will add items that are not provided by the cabinet manufacturer and are either in-house or third-party items that you will also want to charge the customer for. To add items here, left-click in the catalog field to produce a drop-down menu. 
This menu contains all the catalogs installed to your software. Perhaps there is an item you will be providing to the customer from hardware resources that is not included in the catalog installed. Scroll through the list of catalogs and left-click the Hardware Resources option to select. Then, right-click in the FQ Number field to open a menu and select Add to launch a dialog box. Here, you may adjust the quantity of the product needed by either highlighting the current value and typing or by utilizing the arrows to the right. Then left-click in the description box to type a description of the item. Utilize the notation field to provide an SKU for the product. Enter the price per piece you will be charging the customer for the item, again by typing or by using the arrows to the right. Note, if you enter the list price, you may adjust the cost for the customer when creating the customer report. And, you may also add any notes about the item in the Notes field. Then, left-click OK to apply and dismiss the dialog box. Once applied, this item and all the corresponding information will populate in the line. Or, perhaps, you will be providing in-house custom work in addition to the design or countertops to the customer. In circumstances such as this, again, left-click the Catalog field, this time navigating to the bottom of the list. Locate and left-click to select the My Products catalog name. To enter the information, you may right-click in the FQ number field as before, or you may double left-click in each of the fields to type the required information. Again, making sure the price entered will be the price you are charging to the customer, or the net price of the service or product. You may utilize either item entry method for additional items here. Now that we have walked through each of the tabs and how to populate products to the Bill of Materials, let's walk through the additional tools in the Bill of Materials panel. To begin, let's navigate back to the Plan Items tab. Before we access the icons at the top of the panel, let's explore the right-click menu for each tab. In the Plan, Non-Plan, and Additional Items tabs, when right-clicking on the titles for each field, you may sort the line item list in ascending order, lowest to highest value or alphabetical, or in descending order, highest to lowest value or reversed alphabetical. Or you may select Quick Print with or without price, which will allow you to save the Bill of Materials report as a PDF file to your device for printing purposes. In the Plan Items tab, when right-clicking on an item within the list, you may again choose to sort the list according to the field in which you right-clicked by ascending or descending order. You may delete the item, access the item's attributes, or again quick print with or without pricing. When right-clicking on a modification or accessory line item, when accessing attributes, the dialog box will automatically open to the Modifications tab where you may make any additional changes to the corresponding cabinet. In the Non-Plan Items tab, when right-clicking on any product, you may sort ascending or descending order in regards to the field in which you right-clicked. You may also copy or delete the selected items, as well as quick print with or without pricing. In the Additional Products tab, when right-clicking on any item, you may once again sort in ascending or descending order, add a new product as demonstrated earlier, delete the product, and quick print with or without pricing. When selecting attributes here, the dialog box in which we used to create the product will appear, where you may edit any of the information as demonstrated earlier. Back in either the Plan or Non-Plan tabs, when you left-click on any product, the icons at the top of the panel will become activated. The first icon on the left is the Info icon, and when left-clicked, will launch a dialog box that will provide information about the product. When utilizing this within the Plan Items list and you left-click 
the Add to Design button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. The mouse will turn into a crosshair, indicating the Place Edit mode, with the item attached and ready for you to place within the design. Left click to drop, move into place, and left click to secure. The next icon is a red X and will delete the selected item from the bill of materials and from the plan if executed in the plan items tab. The third icon is edit and appears as a list with a pencil. When you left click this in the plan or non-plan tabs, the attributes dialog box will appear for the selected item where you may make any necessary changes to the product and when utilizing this tool in the non-plan tab, you may alter the quantity of the product required in the general tab of the dialog box, either by highlighting the field and typing, or by utilizing the arrows to the right. The icon that appears as two sheets of paper, one in front of the other, is the copy icon, and when you left-click this icon, the product will automatically be copied to the list. The next icon is Replace. This icon, when left clicked, will launch the Replace dialog box, where you may search for the item's replacement by SKU or description in the search field at the top left, or search for the replacement within the catalog tree contained in the center panel on the right. When opening a folder, the contents will appear below. Left click the desired item, then left click Replace. This action will change the product in the Bill of Materials and on plan if executing this action within the Plan Items tab. The two arrow icons will allow you to manually move the item within the Bill of Materials, either up or down. Upon left-clicking, you will move the product only one line at a time. The next two icons are specific to the Plan Items tab only. The blue square with the hash mark inside is Display Bill of Materials number with the label. When left-clicked, the Bill of Materials will appear on each product on plan in addition to its label. The icon to the right that looks like a circular arrow, drawn clockwise, is Combine. When left-clicking this icon, it will condense the Bill of Materials list by combining multiples of the same product onto a single line. The last two icons are the print tools. The first is print bill of materials with pricing, the second without pricing. I will demonstrate these tools a little later in the video. In non-plan items, the only available icons are info, delete, edit, copy, replace, move up or down, and print with or without pricing. In additional products, you will have access to the same delete, edit, move up or down, and print with or without pricing icon, with a new additional icon to the left. This icon is Add New, and will launch the same dialog box in which we created our first item here earlier. Now to print the Bill of Materials. As we have seen, we may print with or without pricing. When utilizing the right-click method, the file must be saved to your device prior to printing. The icons at the top of the panel provide a more direct path to printing your bill of materials. When you left-click either the with or without pricing icon, the list of materials will appear in a new window. Here, you may save to your device as a PDF by left-clicking the Save icon, which will launch the dialog box containing your computer files. Navigate to the location in which you would like to save this report. Or, create a new folder by left-clicking the Manila folder icon with a red sunburst, and type the new folder name. Then, double left-click the new folder's icon to the left, and give this report a name in the field below, and left-click Save or you may print directly to your preferred print source by left-clicking the print icon. This will launch the print dialog box, allowing you to select your print source, the pages to be printed, and more. Once you have completed your print setup, 
left click the OK button to print the bill of materials. ProKitchen Software's Bill of Materials tools make it easy to view and add all the necessary components and customer charges to the bill of materials for everything from on-plan and non-plan items to third-party parts or in-house services and goods. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. For more videos like this, please visit www.prokitchensoftware.com.